Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Vibs here from SlideNerd. Today, we are going to talk about how we can add some touch feedback to our app by drawing ripple effects when the user selects an item from the recycler view. Now, this is the Lollipop device, and there's a pre Lollipop device that we have. And we are going to need libraries if you want to have ripple effects on the pre Lollipop devices because the ripple drawable, the thing that we are going to use in our current video, is not available for pre Lollipop devices. So, let's take a look at how we can do this. The first thing that you guys should be doing is to go to Google and type Android Ripple Effect. As soon as you do that, there are links from GitHub. There is a Android developers link here that talks about how to define custom animations. Then there's a Ripple Drawable, of course, which we need to take a look at. And there's Android Arsenal over here. Now, if you are unaware of Android Arsenal, it's basically the single largest collection of all the Android libraries that you're going to ever need for doing anything with respect to Android. Take a look at that. So out of this, we have come to the ripple effects category where these are the libraries available for doing a ripple effect in Android. Now, if you go further and take a look at one of these libraries, for example, the ripple effect and the ripple view, you will notice that they all do pretty much the same thing. They all have a custom layout where they made a ripple view extends relative layout. And inside this, they are basically going to have a gesture detector and this is going to intercept the touch event and it's going to draw a circle that's going to fade in its alpha value from 1 to 0 and thereby show you or give you the illusion of a ripple effect on android and all the previous versions now if you take a look at ripple effect library here it simply says that it supports versions 9 plus and with the ripple view there's something very similar at the bottom they have said that it supports gingerbread plus in their compatibility so you're welcome to use one of these libraries and your ripple will run on all previous versions as well but in my case i'm going to talk very specifically about the ripple drawable which as you can see says added in API level 21. This is not available on pre Lollipop devices. So let's take a look at how we can use this ripple drawable in our code to make things happen. If you go to the documentation for the ripple drawable class, you can immediately notice it says added in API level 21 here. At the same time, it says drawable that shows a ripple effect in response to state changes. And of course, you can control where the ripple is triggered by setting a hotspot, the point where the ripple originates within your drawable. But before we read any further about the mask and something, let's go ahead and actually implement this in our code. So going back to Android Studio, you're going to have a drawable v21 folder with a custom bg file inside it. Now, if you open this file, you will notice that I have a ripple starting and ripple closing tag. And at the same time, I have the Android color attribute that defines the color of my ripple. Now the value for this color is pretty weird. It says question mark and or ADTR color control highlight. Now in other words, you have to go to your styles.xml. In our case, the styles21.xml here. And we are going to specify the color control highlight to be at the rate color slash color highlight. Now of course, you're welcome to take a look at this color's value by going here and saying color attributes B6, 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 which we have defined here as some variation of light gray. So this is what the color of the ripple is going to be so going back here to our custom bg now in our pre lollipop devices we cannot have the ripple so we're going to have a simple selector here in the pre lollipop devices where we can simply define the shape state pressed equals to true and within that we can have a shape here make it solid with the same color as the color control highlight that we already have. So we can simply say color, color highlight over here. Now for the normal state, when the button is not pressed, we're going to simply have the solid with a white color. So we can go here, we can simply say shape here, and then solid with a color of Android color white over here. So that takes care of making our normal selector for pre lollipop devices. Going back to the ripple selector here, where we have the custom bg.xml, all we got to do is this, and let's take a look at what happens when we try to run this ripple. But before that, we need to apply this to our layout, which is a custom row inside our recycler view. If you remember, this is what our single element looks like inside our recycler view with the icon and the text over here. So we're going to apply the ripple effect to this whole layout. So we're going to go here, we're going to say background is at the rate drawable and custom bg over here now also make sure that your layout is clickable otherwise the click events are not going to be triggered here so at this point let's run the app and find out if we can see the ripple effect in action 
So this point uh, pre lollipop just click on that it's normal click and if you click on our lollipop device bam there's our ripple but there's a problem as you guys can notice the ripple goes way beyond the single view where we are interested to actually capture the ripples so how can we solve this problem and this is where the mask comes into the picture you see you go up and you read the documentation again it says a touch feedback contains several child layers including a special mask layer that is not drawn on the screen the mask layer is basically a layer which is not going to be drawn and it is going to constrain your ripple so let's go ahead and make that mask layer by simply going back here to our custom bg for v21 and here we're going to simply have an item inside this now remember your ripple is basically like a state selector that we already have in other words you can have the item state state press state selector state focus here as well so item and we're going to call give it an android id give it an android id slash mask which is the special value that we are interested in and we have to give this a color as well so we can use the drawable attribute here for the mask by saying drawable and we can give it the android color white here to constrain the ripple within the bounds now at this point if we run the app the ripple should work perfectly let's take a look at that so at this point if you run our pre lollipop and lollipop the pre lollipop is going to give you the same effect but take a look at lollipop there is our ripple effect for each item in the recycler view so there's a lot of things that are still untouched or uncovered with respect to the recycler view and the ripple effect at this point if you guys if you want to give some suggestions about how you can make this better you're welcome to suggest i'll make a separate video and i'll also mention your name in that video as well so be sure to let me know what you think about this in the meantime if you like what you saw please like this video share this video subscribe to slide nerd and let us know your thoughts in the comment boxes below thanks for watching i'll catch you guys in the next video have a nice day